Hey guys, John here from Sunny Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get demonically heavy with the Synmix Quad Cortex High Gain Capture Pack. In case you've never heard of Synmix, it's a company that is quite well known for its rock and metal Kemper profiles, now captures and presets for various modeling platforms. Especially in the Kemper world, Synmix is a really well known name because that is basically where you get your high gain rock and metal profiles. Gregory, who is the mastermind behind Synmix, has a lot of experience with gear and he also has a great amp selection, a great cabinet selection and all that good stuff. And now Synmix has released its first capture high gain pack for the Quad Cortex. Time to get heavy! Before we go on, let's take a listen to a little clip with my Fender Jim Root Telecaster with the EMG81 in the bridge position with two captures at the same time, one on the right side and the other on the left side. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. Awesome. Okay, so if we take a look at the Synmix website, you can see that this guy has released a lot of Kemper packs. And a bunch of cool artists also use his captures, as can be seen here. There are some pretty well-known names in the metal world here. Not only does Synmix sell Kemper profiles and captures for your Quad Cortex, he also offers presets for the Fractal Audio Axe Effects, the Helix, the Head Rush, and more. But today we are here for the Quad Cortex High Gain Capture Pack. So what is this pack all about and what does it feature? Now this pack basically features an awesome collection of seven amplifiers with 40 captures in total, with various cabinet combinations basically to choose from. We have a Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier Rev F, an Angle Savage 120 KD88, a PV6505, a Victory Kraken, a Marshall JCM800 2204 clone, a Soldano SLO 100 clone, and the very unique Razer Syn amp. And that last one is basically a custom made amplifier that was made specifically for Syn mix, and it sounds great. It sounds nice and tight, and it's awesome for metal. But all of these amps sound good, really, and they all have their own unique character. And of course, you can customize the tone a little bit by choosing a different cab type. So let's take a listen to a little clip now in which you can hear all the amplifiers side by side just to get a taste of what this pack has to offer. There's no post-processing on these guitars and the guitar that I'm going to use is my Gibson Les Paul Custom. And the numbering that you will see corresponds to the cab choices basically. There's a chart on the website that helps you identify which cabinet was used. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out right now. Thank you. 
very cool, right? Nice, tight, and chunky. And each of the amplifiers definitely has its own character going on. Really cool. I believe a boost pedal was used for most of these captures, so they sound nice and tight and they fit the mix like a glove. For a full band mix, the manual does recommend some EQ moves like a low cut, a high cut, uh, a boxy mid cut at around 500 hertz and some upper mid cuts at around 3K-ish. I did do a little bit of this in the intro track and also for the track that you're about to hear, but definitely not a lot. Not a lot of EQ was needed to make these guitar sounds work in the mix, which is great. Now let's check out a super heavy clip with my Ibanez M80M 8-string Meshuggah guitar. Since these captures are so tight and ferocious, they should work really well with such a low-tuned guitar. This time I'm going to use the Sin amp on one side and the Victory Kraken on the other side, so it should make for a very nice and wide sound. On oh, one quick note, I didn't make any changes on the capture aside from the gain. I did raise the gain a little bit on all these captures. We all have different DI levels, and in my case I just had to raise the gain a little bit to make it sound nice and saturated. No biggie. All right, here we go. Awesome, that sounded huge and definitely very amp-like to me. So what do you guys think of the sound of these high-gain quad cortex captures from Synmix? Definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I honestly think that they sound great and it does not take a lot of effort to make them sound awesome in the mix. Just choose your amplifier and then choose a cab sound that works for you and boom, maybe change a little bit of gain here and there, but that's all. So if you want some great custom-made high-gain captures for your Quad Cortex, definitely go to the Synmix website right now to check these out. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below along with the notification bell, as that really helps the channel out. I'd usually appreciate that. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!